Hi, this is Vic. On this video, I'm going to show you how an engineer and a procurement manager can collaborate in real time in a granular fashion. I'm going to show you here a side-by-side -side view so that you can see the collaboration uh, happening in real time. Now, the engineer is configuring his model to extract the bill of materials directly into OpenBOM. In this case, uh, the uh, components are also going to be connected and placed in Dropbox. That's because he wants the procurement manager to verify that the parts and components he's using are indeed uh, the ones that, he, that are meant. And if there's any issue, of course, for them to, uh, to sort of, uh, you know, have that conversation if needed. But having said that, the bill of material now is being generated and I'm showing you here a side by side. So you'll notice that uh, when I click on one of the links to Dropbox, it goes directly into Dropbox. That's good, the engineer did that just to make sure uh, everything is working. Let me click that out of the way. Now, on the side of the uh, procurement manager, what the engineer is gonna do, he's gonna share his bill of material, the one he just generated, with the procurement manager, whom, by the way, doesn't have any CAD. He doesn't even know how to use CAD but he certainly needs to get into the bill of materials. So you see, it's, it's been shared, it's on his dashboard, and now the procurement manager opens up the bill of material. And look at that, it's exactly the same, and he's going to click on a link that's going to show him the same component or any one of those components in Dropbox. Terrific. Now you can see here, I'm just uh, sort of playing both, that uh, the collaboration, or rather the ability to uh, work on the bomb at the same time is uh, indeed happening. Now, what's going to also occur here is that the procurement manager is going to go ahead and customize the bill of materials by adding a few more relevant properties. Things like su supplier source, which is a list property, the unit cost, and also going to add now a, uh, an additional one, which is a reference uh, property to the catalog to uh, to ensure that everything is uh, as it should be uh, and there's no uh, confusion. Now he's going to go ahead and I'm just I just overlaid here a quick uh, a highlight so you see that as the procurement manager is adding different values in this case to the uh, to the NEMA motor that these are appearing in real time. He's also adding here the reference to the McMaster catalog. Uh, which is kind of neat because now the engineer is also going to have uh, visibility to that. And because this is a pure procurement manager and it's all happening uh, on the same bomb, uh, errors, omissions, etc., misunderstandings are minimized. You see that the engineer here clicked the link to the MacMaster and in fact it's exactly the same one. So everything is as it should be. Now what the uh, procurement manager does is he wants to create an audit trail. He wants to ensure that a revision, an immutable revision of what he's already done uh, is captured. And of course, these could be captured at uh, any time. Now let's say that the engineer wants to make a design change, right? So normally what happens is the procurement manager is entirely in the dark with this change. And if the communication happens or not, well, you know, that could be an issue. But in, with OpenBOM, the engineer now makes the change. In this case, he's just adding a particular component to the uh, model. And once he makes a save, he's going to go again and uh, generate the bill of materials. He's exporting it again. And what will happen is that the uh, bomb will be updated with that new uh, information or that new component. In this case, the quantity will go from one to two because as you may have noticed before, there was only one of them. Now when we click the bomb, you see that uh, this particular ne uh, NEMA motor that we added now has two. And look at that, on the procurement side, lo and behold, it's also two, right? Now the procurement manager go goes ahead and adds some additional information and creates another revision just to capture. Now they can create as many revisions as they like, either the, the procurement manager, of course, or the engineer. Now the engineer, I'm going to just expand this a minute because this is the beauty here 
of keeping a history of all the changes, right? In other words, an audit trail, and the engineer can also see what changes happened and when with these revisions. Moreover, what the engineer can also do, or anyone really, with access to this particular bomb, they can create a change uh, report uh, looking at the changes between the various revisions. So let me pull this back in, uh, just to give you again the emulated side by side. So this is collaboration in a granular level. Uh, if you'd like to learn more, visit www.openbomb.com. And thank you.